Have you ever thought of buying a franchise or currently own one or many? If so, this podcast is for you. Welcome to Franchise Euphoria, the podcast created and hosted by franchise attorney Josh Brown for the sole purpose of helping people find success through franchising. Hello and welcome to another episode of Franchise Euphoria, the podcast to help you, the prospective franchise buyer, find success in franchising. I'm Josh Brown, your host and franchise attorney, entrepreneur, and general lover of all things small business, and thrilled to be back today to bring yet another Franchise Euphoria tip of the day to you and today we're just going to get right down to the basics and i'm super excited about this you know people ask all the time what exactly is a franchise i mean and and why does it matter i mean people people know what a franchise is of course people think you know oh it's mcdonald's it's subway so so they generally can picture a franchise but they don't truly understand what it is i mean what what makes up a franchise what is the difference between you know a franchise and a license and so today uh i'm gonna explain sort of what the difference is and provide a probably the best illustration of of a, what a franchise is and why f- when franchising is done well it can be an incredible business model that i've ever seen and that's courtesy of michael gerber and emith revisited but that'll come here in a little bit but before I get started, I just want to say I am thrilled on a personal level that uh, my wife is due with our second child literally any day now. So how does that affect the podcast? Well, I am preparing a bunch of recorded podcasts in, in anticipation of obviously being away from the office a bit uh, with the birth of our second child. So there may or may not be interviews over the next few weeks but there will most certainly be franchise euphoria tips so i just kind of wanted to give you a heads up on that so let's get right into it you know a franchise in its most basic form is really a business expansion model so essentially you have a business that started as a small business and has put in place systems and procedures and a proven business model where they can generate revenue and has basically taken that model and looked for a way to expand using other people's capital. But what are you really getting when you buy a franchise? Well, there are really three elements that make up and distinguish a franchise from just a regular small business. The first thing is when you're buying a franchise, you're really buying uh, the brand. You're buying the trademark, the use of the trademark or the service mark. I mean, if you buy a McDonald's, you're buying obviously the the right to use the golden arches. If you're buying and their name and you're you're buying a subway uh, the same. And so the number one uh, component and element to a franchise is you have to have a, a brand. You have to have a mark. You have to have something uh, that is registered, uh, that represents you as your brand. The sec- second thing you have to have is you have to have a marketing plan, a marketing system, an operating plan that you are essentially licensing for somebody else to use for a period of time. So you're saying to the prospective franchise buyer, here's the way we do it. Here's how we've been successful. Here you go, go and follow it. The third component is the charge of some sort of franchise fee. You know, oftentimes it's in the form of an upfront franchise fee followed by a continuing royalty. And the percentages on these royalties can can fluctuate depending on the franchise. But that's it. I mean, those three elements really make up a franchise and distinguish it from other business models. I mean, I think a lot of people get confused with franchising and licensing. Well, when you're licensing something, usually, obviously you have a brand 
and a trademark associated with, let's say, a product that you're licensing. But usually you're not requiring that the licensee or the person you're licensing it to actually follows your marketing or operation system. So you're sort of missing that element. Usually you're licensing it to somebody and they can do what they want with it in exchange for paying you a fee. That's very different uh, from a franchise and is regulated in a much different way. But let's get to the real important part of this tip. Why does anybody care? Why does it matter? Well, here's the thing. When franchising is done right, when it's done well, it can be an incredible business model. In fact, I would say it can be one of the best business models uh, to be a part of. And I was rereading The E-Myth Revisited by Michael Gerber for for the third time now. And I, I got to tell you, if you have not, not read this book, it's just so good. It's so simple. It's brilliant. It was way ahead of its time. And it's, it's really one of the best small business books I've ever read. It's The E-Myth Revisited, Why Most Small Businesses Don't Work and What to Do About It by Michael Gerber. But as I was re reading it, I was struck as it started talking about the turnkey revolution and sort of the franchise prototype. And, and to give you a little bit of backdrop, essentially in the book, he works with a pie shop owner uh, named Sarah, uh, fictitious name, but you know, true story in terms of here was somebody who made excellent pies and Sarah's family, I think her aunt said, Oh, you really need to open up a pie shop. And so she did. And she was thrilled at the outset, but just like most entrepreneurs and small business owners, they end up building a job for themselves instead of a business where they're doing every aspect of the business. And so Michael Gerber speaks with uh, Sarah and just kind of listens and and hears all the, the frustrations. Oh, I'm here at three o'clock in the morning getting the ingredients ready, making the pies. Then I'm cleaning everything. Then this. And by the time I close the store, I'm doing this. And it's it's just a one person show and it's a classic example of somebody working in their business instead of on their business but when you utilize franchising as your business model there's a magic about it and as he explains through the example of ray Kroc and mcdonald's i think it's an amazing illustration that he provides so i'm just going to read from a section from the from the book page uh, page 88 where he's he's talking to sarah about the beauty of the, of the franchise model. So here we go. Now from the outside in, I can understand why you might be critical of McDonald's. You might say that people shouldn't eat meat. You might say that the hamburgers could be fatter or less fatty or this or that. But what you could not say, what you could never say is that McDonald's does not keep its promise because it does. Better than just about any business in the world, McDonald's, the love of Ray Kroc's life, still keeps its promise long after Ray Kroc has gone. It delivers exactly what we have come to expect of it every single time. So that's why I look upon McDonald's as a model for every small business. Because it can do in its more than 28,000 stores what most of us can't do in one. And to me, that's what integrity is all about. It's about doing what you say you will do. And if you can't, learning how. If that is the measure of an incredible business, and I believe it is, then there is no more incredible business than McDonald's, who among us small business owners can say we do things as well, end quote. I love that. I mean, I just think that sums up the power, the beauty, the essence of a franchise run well. I mean, it just gets right down to the point of it in that, you know, the product for Ray Kroc and McDonald's was McDonald's itself, not the hamburger. And his number one goal was how do I take care of my ultimate customer, which to him is the franchisee, not the customers coming in and buying the hamburgers and buying the fries. And he was able to implement a system as good or better than any other franchise out there that has been replic replicated thousands and thousands and thousands of times. 
and I just love that. And to me, that that really, really defines the essence of a franchise. So I hope you enjoyed the Franchise Euphoria tip of the day. As always, if you find value in this, please go to iTunes and rate, review, and subscribe to Franchise Euphoria podcast. I love that. I love hearing what you guys have to say about it and uh, providing your candid feedback. You can also email me at josh at franchiseeuphoria.com. You can call me 317-688-9111. And until the next time, I'd just like to wish all of you happy franchising. Thanks for being with us today on the Franchise Euphoria podcast. If you enjoyed this episode, please be sure to go to iTunes and provide a review. Also, please remember that although Josh Brown is a licensed and practicing attorney, nothing contained in this podcast should be construed as legal advice, because it is not. The information contained in this podcast is general and educational in nature, and none of it should be relied upon as legal advice. That being said, if you have questions for Josh and would like to contact him, please email him at josh at franchiseuphoria.com. Thank you so much for listening, and we hope you tune in to our next weekly episode.